Hi, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I have uh, one uh, good news to share with you all. Now uh, Jetpack Compose uh, version 1.1.0 is uh, finally stable. Many APIs that uh, were experimental before are now stable. And uh, also there is uh, just uh, one more uh, small thing that uh, came out with this uh, Jetpack Compose uh, version. And that uh, thing is uh, called uh, Animate uh, Item uh, Placement. And that uh, animate uh, item uh, placement uh, thing is actually a modifier which uh, will allow us to animate uh, all our uh, items uh, from the list or from our lazy column uh, to be exact. Also, uh, one more important thing, so uh, if you want to learn how to build uh, modern Android applications using uh, Jetpack Compose, then uh, be sure to check uh, the video description because there uh, you will find a link to my uh, website. Anyhow, uh, without uh, further ado, uh, now let me show you how this uh, animate uh, item uh, placement uh, modifier will actually look like in action. So here uh, we have uh, just a simple and basic uh, Android Studio project. Now let me uh, open that up so I can show you. And uh, I have already prepared uh, the things that I want to show you. So, so the first thing which uh, you can notice here is this uh, list named items and this uh, list contains uh, multiple strings. Each one of those uh, string is basically a unique uh, programming language. Now below that uh, I'm using a lazy column to display those items. So here I'm using a items uh, function and the item function as well. So this uh, items function will take those uh, list of strings which I have already prepared and as a key here we have specified those uh, strings from that list. Now in most cases for this uh, key you would use some uh, unique uh, identifier like uh, some integer value but anyhow this is just for the demonstration purposes and uh, basically for each uh, item from that list we are going to create uh, one text and this uh, text composable will contain uh, multiple modifiers like a fill max uh, width, uh, background color, padding and our animate item uh, placement uh, modifier as well. Now here it says that this modifier uh, animates the item placement within the lazy list. And when you provide the key, this modifier will enable item reordering animations. Aside from uh, item reordering, uh, all other position changes caused by events like uh, arrangement or alignment changes will also be animated. So basically each and every text uh, from this list uh, will contain uh, I love and then the actual name of that uh, programming language. Now below those uh, items uh, we have just one button named the shuffle and whenever we press that button uh, then we are going to change the order of those items from that list. From this list, okay? And uh, as you can see here I have uh, specified by myself uh, how this animation uh, uh, should look like but of course you don't have to specify this uh, animation spec. You can just uh, leave this uh, animate item placement uh, function empty and uh, uh, default uh, values uh, will be specified. Now let me run this application so I can show you uh, how this uh, animate item placement modifier will actually work. Okay so here we have our lazy column and that lazy column uh, contains uh, five different uh, items for each and every programming language which we have defined here. Now when I click this uh, shuffle button uh, then we are going to change the order of those items from this list and that animation uh, will be triggered. So let's check that out. Okay, so it looks uh, very nice. So as you can see, uh, whenever we change the position of those elements uh, or those items inside that list, then our lazy column uh, will animate. So there we go, it looks very nice. And of course, uh, we don't have to specify this animation uh, spec uh, parameter, we can just uh, leave that empty. And now let me just check uh, how this will actually look like. So now this animation will be a little bit uh, faster, but of course, uh, as you have already seen, you can specify that uh, animation duration by yourself. Okay, so that was all I wanted to share with you in this uh, video. Now we can finally animate uh, all our items from a lazy column with uh, only a single modifier, which is amazing. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course, and uh, see you in the next one.